Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. One of my clients recently had a situation in Excel where they had hundreds of customers that they dealt with in, for example, January with the various contacts here and in February they would enter in the customers that they dealt with plus any new customers. And what they wanted to see in Excel were who were the repeat customers and who were the new customers. So the way I solved it was simply this. I clicked in this cell and I typed a VLOOKUP equal VLOOKUP and when I press Control A it brings up for me the function arguments dialog box. The lookup value was in D4. The table array was there in B and the column index number in that array of course is 1 and the range lookup because I want an exact match is false. So when I pressed enter it showed me when I auto filled down through those three cells there who were the repeat customers and who were new. But how do I know who was new because all I see here is an error message. So what I did in the function in the formula up here was to type into that cell I used equals if error. Open to bracket and at the end of the formula in double quotes because I wanted text I used the word new and closed the bracket. Now XYZ no problem repeat customer Brown's pumps repeat customer but now this one shows me the word new because Smith, Smith Excavations does not appear in the January customers. Well that's all well and good but uh, wouldn't it be nice with those cells selected if I could make the word new stand out a little bit because the, there, there may well have been uh, lots of new customers spread down through uh, many uh, rows of information. So I'm just going to conditionally format using highlight cell rules, look for text that contains the word new. I'll accept the light red fill or dark red text that's simply a, um, uh, a default format and when I press enter there we are. So uh, nice and easy uh, they were happy because they could then quickly see who were new customers and who were the repeat customers and all I did was to use a nested VLOOKUP within an IF error formula. Hope you found this handy uh, guys and girls. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if, if, unless you've already done so and we also of course love likes and comments. See you next time.